Hey, welcome to Performance Reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I have a Bissell Zing, though it could be a Simplicity or a Recar uh, Royal. This machine has many names. It's been made under many names. And as the title of the video implies, there are many names for this machine and the prices for these vary greatly. Uh, I've seen them as low as 50 and I've seen this machine sell for as high as 200. Um, so today we're going to unbox it and give it a, a good first look and review of the machine. And if you're not familiar with my content, I am a vacuum technician and I have a background in manufacturing as well. So I'm going to give you kind of a different perspective of this than your average stay at home or paid shill. The box that comes in is pretty plain Jane. I ordered mine directly from Bissell. It does come with a pretty heavy duty wand. I was surprised to see that. And you can tell they really packed this box so a lot of them fit on a pallet. You get a very cheap feeling hose, two vacuum bags, a floor tool, a crevice tool, and a dusting brush. That's really all that's in the box, minus a very, very short instruction manual. It's a, so it says, this is interesting, uh, Bissell International, made in China, and then there's a, 1100 watts, Amsterdam, the Netherlands is printed on the bottom. I cannot make sense of this sticker. Now, if you didn't believe me that this machine has many names, as you see, and I'll put a link to these below, but I've got some other bags I'm gonna use with it. And the reason I'm gonna use these is these are high flow HEPA bags. These give the machine more airflow and better filtration just by using this bag. Um, and they're really rather inexpensive. You can get them directly from Bissell as well. Um, but why use the genuine Bissell ones if I can get these ones for less? And then there's a, unlike the Bissell bag, there's no seal on the Bissell bag. Um, these have a self-sealing uh, tab that you can seal up and close up there. So that's why I'm gonna use these right in here. And again, I, I, I ordered these bags before I ordered the vacuum actually, um, knowing that they were gonna fit. So let's plug it in and see what it's like. Or an upholstery tool. I checked the box three times. Nope, not hidden anywhere. That's what you get. Uh, you do get a second bag, which is good. Now I'm not gonna be using these bags. Um, for obvious reasons, I'm going to be using HEPA bags. I don't see why you'd run it with paper bags, not in 2021. So let's see what she sounds like. Oh, full bag check indicator works. Not gonna lie, that's pretty loud. Now it does use standard inch and a quarter attachments, which means you can find just about anything for this. Let's see how much suction it has. Almost, wow, 85. Like 45, 50 inches of working vacuum. That's amazing. I may have said earlier that this thing does not come with a crevice tool. I want to correct myself. It comes with the smallest crevice tool right there. I would have to talk about the competition in this video because the straight suction canister market is actually very large. Not so large here in the US right now, but these are some options that are available in the US and I wanted to just talk about them compared to the Bissell Zing and the size and the quality. I want to talk about the Bissell Zine's accessories. Uh, these are unacceptable even at this price range. These are unusable. The floor tool is usable, but you'll probably want to change it out. The wand is very short. And I'll just real quick, let's compare the wand to a normal wand. You can see it falls about a foot short. Again, if you have a short ceiling or you are somebody of short statue, not going to make a difference. If you're five foot nothing, this is not going to be a problem. But if you are a six foot uh, tall gorilla like me, absolutely not. Uh, the next thing I want to just talk about is like the quality of accessories. These are generally what are considered the bare minimum, you know, a dusting brush, upholstery, crevice tool. There's no upholstery tool. The, this is arguably a, this one of the smallest ones on the market. So I just want to know what you're getting into. Um, that being said, Bissell uses a standard inch and a quarter fitting. So you might get the vacuum at a cheap price, but you're probably going to spend the price of the vacuum in getting the proper accessories to make it work, which is kind of deceiving. And I really wish Bissell offered 
a deluxe $100 model with the Zing with the turbo brush and the proper accessories. There's also no real place to store anything but the crevice tool on board. So this dusting brush will get lost. I already talked about in length that you need to change the bags out right away to make it practical. And if we look at the bag, okay, it's about the same size of a Mila bag as the paper bag. It's not as big as say a pneumatic bag, but again, all these bags are inexpensive. And that's the thing. If you're not familiar with a bag cleaner, you get a lot of value out of a bag cleaner because maybe once a month, once every two months, you throw the bag away and you seal it up and you don't breathe the dust. You don't touch the dust. You don't interact with the dust. This also helps the vacuum maintain more suction and a longer motor life. So even though this Bissell is a cheap vacuum, if you run HEPA bags in it, it probably will last a good while. Um, the hose is not of anywhere near the quality of any of the others as well. So again, check out my videos on the other machines as well. If you think they might be in your price range, I would highly recommend them over the Bissell. Uh, but I wanted to just give you an idea of why I think the Bissell is, even if you spend what the Bissell's worth on the accessories, it's still gonna come in under what these machines come in. We're gonna see how it does on hard floor. I've got our usual performance reviews, pickup test with breakfast cereal flour, cat litter, fresh animal hair. And of course you're hearing this with a studio mic. So you're gonna hear the real sound of the machine as it would sound in your home. Headphones warning with this one. As you can see, it does pretty much what's advertised. A uh, little bit of flower, I can't tell. Uh, but that's all right. Now, this doesn't have big inlets for animal hair. After about a room of cleaning, you're gonna have to suck this off on this particular floor tool. There are other floor tools that would fit on here that would be far better than the included one. Just for kicks and giggles, I have some of my mess in the cracks of my Saltillo tile. I just want to see if it gets that. Well, it appears it has. Now this machine is not meant for carpet, but I want to let you know how it does on a low pile carpet. This switchable floor tool, like I said, it's meant for doing area rugs, but we're going to let you know the worst case scenario on carpet and then I'll also try it with a popular turbo brush that's available. As always you're hearing this with a studio mic so you're going to hear the real sound of the machine what it sounds like. Well that wasn't half bad with that not having a brush roller. However, oh, it did move around some big breakfast cereal bits. Uh, yeah, there's some flour left in the carpet, so don't, don't expect this to do wall to wall carpet. Uh, left some cat litter, and then it got the dog hair amazingly enough. That I wasn't expecting. Um, that's with this tool right here. Now, usually for carpet or wall-to-wall -wall carpet, you would use a tool with a spinning brush, or usually with an electric motor. We're going to try a turbine nozzle. Now, this turbo is available for sale on Amazon. It's made by a German company called Visselworks, so a completely different company. Uh, so we're going to see how that does on here. I suspect it will do a little bit better, but this turbo costs almost as much as this vacuum cleaner. So what is it like when you put a turbo on it? Well, pick the breakfast cereal up. Yeah, no, it got the flour that time. I didn't get the cat litter that was on the edge, but when we look at the, the shape of the turbo brush, that makes sense. Um, and then there was some animal hair left in the center, but not there. And what that is from 
is where the belt is on this machine. So I think if you had a room with wall-to-wall -wall carpet and were on a budget, and this was your machine, this could be an option. Uh, or if you just have a rug with a lot of pet hair. The machine does balance okay on stairs. Uh, it is just too wide for regular stairs going that way, so you do have to balance it like that. And it is exhausted out the top. But they don't give you an upholstery tool or a stair tool. So I guess accessories not included are the themes of this cleaner. As you can see, this cord length is one of the shortest I've ever tested. I don't believe it's over 15 feet or three meters. Well, let's talk about my final thoughts on the Bissell Zing. I think the Bissell Zing is a very viable option if you're willing to get the right bags and the right accessories to make it work. As it comes, it doesn't really come complete. So understanding you're buying three quarters of a vacuum when you buy this, you're not getting HEPA bags, you're not even getting the HEPA exhaust filter, which is available. I'll put a link below to that. Um, and you're getting something that is cheap and, you know, it's abyssal quality. But if you had a hard floor area rug apartment, this is a great option. If you were on a strict budget, this is a great option. If you're just looking for a quick vacuum to do accessories and you have a full size upright vacuum, this is an option. Um, so I'll put links below to everything I've talked about. Again, thank you so much for watching my review. Hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if this helped you out. Comment below if you have a Bissell Zing. I'd love to hear from you. If you really like what we're doing, check out our Patreon.